you want to drop it down into the water and you want to make sure the cord is completely straight up and down. One of the big components of this class is actually being able to take data and be able to use it in a real world context. Especially after Hurricane Harvey, our students are especially in a unique position to understand the importance and the ramifications of what happens when aquatic environments maybe aren't as healthy as they should be or should have been in the past. Remember, when the hatchlings come out of the nest, what organisms are on the beach trying to get them? Crabs. It's actually really fun and educational for us to like get out of like school and actually learn and be in the environment. Like most of the stuff we did, like learning how to like get the uh, pH of the water, like we learned how to do that with our fish tanks in school, but seeing how like actual ecosystems pHs are actually like give us that learning experience how our environment works around us. Oh, you really get a more hands-on experience and you know like what's really going on in the environment and how we can look after it. My kids were really affected by Harvey and so one of the things I have started teaching this year is how to make a water filter just out of things that you would find around your house in the case of an emergency. Um, and how do you know that water is clean to drink, you know? So not that they would have dip strips at home, but we've done it in class. They've learned, you know, the parameters. And so hopefully they can, in an emergency, reproduce that. Our students are very hardworking. They're seniors from all walks of life. And it's a huge waste of potential to not have these students working on the types of projects that impact them on the day-to-day -day basis. I didn't ever think that it would be fully funded. Um, so I was so excited. My kids are so excited. Um, it's going to affect not just these 350 kids, but each year following.